All right, today we're going to talk about the circumcenter. Circumcenter. And this is of a triangle, and what this does, this is another one of the points of concurrency. And it's where the, the perpendicular bisectors intersect. So I'm going to draw myself a, a triangle here. I'm going to make sure that I get an obtuse because that's a, a little bit more difficult of a triangle to do the perpendicular bisectors all right, where they uh, meet. So here are three vertexes, the three side. So I'm going to start with this side here. And I'm going to do a perpendicular bisector to that side. And let's see if I can do this without moving my compass around a little bit. I want to get at least more than half of the distance across. It looks like it right about there. See if I can hold that without it moving. All right. Then I come over here and do the same arc. Have not changed any difference on the, oop, on the compass. I hope I did that right. All right, and then I'm going to go over here to another side. Let's try this side right here. And let's get this closed up a little bit. Now, hopefully I'll fix this compass where it won't move. I make my arc, and then I come over here and do another arc. All right, hold that in like that, and do an arc. Good, all right. So now I connect these. Right here, so these become perpendicular bisectors of this side, of that of that side, and then one of this side. And what happens is, is that because on, on an obtuse, it will meet outside the triangle. On a right triangle, it would meet right on the hub hotnoose. And then, of course, in an acute triangle, it will meet inside. So this is the circumcenter where we have the two... Uh, angle bisectors, and what now I'm going to do is circumscribe. So I take this and I'm going to draw a circle, if I can get this set here. So the distance out from the circle now is set at the this distance right here. So I'm going to rot hold this thing in there so it won't move. Rotate this around, all right. Hopefully I'm keeping this thing still. Uh, I think I'm moving it a little bit. And we keep coming around and all the way around. So what happens is, is that where this located right here, this is equal distance from this side, this side, and this side to be a, to be a circumcenter. And this is useful, for instance, if these were two towns, A, B, and C, and I wanted to put a library equal distance from each one, then this would be the perfect place to do it. So the circumcenter does have utility. And then again, it's where the angle bisectors, excuse me, the, the perpendicular bisectors intersect, and that is that point of concurrency. Thank you.